Hello guys, my name is Rodrigo and on this tutorial I'll be showing you how to install and configure your CodeIgniter framework. I have already set up my server on a virtual host. If you haven't done that, go ahead and do it. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, there are plenty of tutorials on the internet. As soon as you have your server up and running, you're going to have to go to uh, CodeIgniter.com and download the latest version which is as of today version 2.1.2 I'm gonna go ahead and download this okay save yeah I'm gonna uh, extract this file okay as you can see I have CodeIgniter and CodeIgniter comes with the user guide as well you don't partic particularly have to copy these over to your virtual host, your server. All you need are the application folder, the system folder, and the index.php file. So I'm going to drag this over to Sandbox, which is my um, uh, virtual host location. Okay, as you can see. I have application, system, and index.php. Okay, let's start. Uh, CodeIgniter framework is pretty easy to install. All you have to do is download, extract the file, and copy those files over to your uh, server location, your domain, whatever, you name it. Okay, uh, let's test this out and see if CodeIgniter is working. I'm gonna go over to Firefox and type Sandbox, which is my uh, virtual host, local virtual host. Enter. Okay, CodeIgniter is working. As you can see, this is the welcome page from the CodeIgniter. So, yeah, fine, you already have CodeIgniter up and running. Okay, I will show you how to create a controller so we can test something and configure. So, for this, I'm going to go to my text editor. And on my text editor, I'm going to application folder, controllers, and I'll, sh I'll show you. This is the welcome.php, which is the uh, welcome page you just saw it earlier on. So you can change that later if you want. But I'm going to create a new controller here. To create a new controller, all I need is a new file uh, on controllers folder. Okay, I'm going to save these as a contact.php. Save, okay. So I'm going to start PHP here and I'm going to create a class. Class name will be contact, which are the same name of the file and which will be the uh, page name. So to create a controller on CodeIgniter, you, you create a class, uh, give a name to the class, and you have to extend uh, the CI controller. So basically, why do we need this? We need to extend CI dot, uh, underscore controller so we can use the functionality from the CodeIgniter framework. So after done that, okay. Um, let's go ahead and create uh, the main method, which is going to be public function index. Okay, I'll tell you what this is. Okay, um, when you go over to well your browser, and let's say you do. Uh, sandbox slash contact contact so basically contact will be the controller we we are creating now so let me finish that and I'll go back here and show you okay so this index is the main method so if you call contact on your URL you will get to this method index because this is the default one okay I save that and controller as you know MVC Potter uh, uh, 
MVC structure works um, with uh, model views and, and uh, controllers. So I already have my controller. All that I need now for the moment is to set up the view. So to set up the view for this contact, all I have to do is go over to the views folder and create a new file. This file I'm going to save as contact.php as well. Okay. And let me just create a HTML document here to show you how it works. Okay. Let's give a head. Okay. Title uh, contact as um, body tag. And now let me just uh, create a, a title header here. H1. I'm gonna do welcome to our contact page. Okay, good. Okay, now we have the file contact.php in views. Fine, good. Now we have to tell the controller to actually load our viewer. So to do that, simple as calling these load. Um, view. So this is all we have to do and on this uh, method we have to give uh, the parameter which is the name of the file we want to load. Basically we named the file as contact.php. On CodeIgniter you don't have to specify uh, the .php here. You don't really need to if you want to okay leave it if you don't delete it that's fine contact is enough let's say that you have a subfolder in views all you'd have to do is a subfolder which this would be actually uh, the name of the folder yes okay that could be anything and this is the actual uh, contact.php file okay uh, as I don't have a subfolder, I'll just leave as contact. Good. And now it should be working. Okay, let's go over to Firefox. You see, I have contact here. This should call the controller contact. Let's just hit enter. Oh, uh, okay, not found. I'll tell you why. Basically, is because uh, when you first install CodeIgniter, it doesn't come with the .heaccess file, which is a mod rewrite thing from the Apache server. I'm going to show you how to set up this, but basically, uh, the default from CodeIgniter is index.php slash contact. So you see, then like this, it works fine because this is the default from CodeIgniter. If you want to get rid of this index.php file, okay, uh, let's go to codeigniter.com. I suggest you read through the, the user guide. Uh, it's pretty, it, it's useful, and there's a bunch of information there. Okay, I'm gonna go to codeigniter URLs, and here. Um, we have the topic removing the index.php file. Okay, so I already told you how it works. All I'm gonna do is copy these uh, these lines here, which are the mod rewrite uh, rules. You have to copy these. Go to your text editor, and on the root directory, which is sandbox on mine on yours should be something different. All I have to do is create a new file and I'm going to save this file as .htaccess. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to paste those lines here and I'll explain to you. I'm not a, a, a rewrite, uh, I'm not a mod rewrite expert, but 
I'll show. I'll, I'll tell you what this means. Okay. Uh, this the first line means we are just telling the rewrite engine we turn it on by passing this uh, parameter here, and on this line here we are basically telling not to rewrite anything that is index.php or a folder images or a file robots.txt. So basically these files will be ignored and will be not redirected okay so i think you got that the last one here rewrite rule we are just telling uh, this is a, a regular expression thing basically every re request that uh, our server will um, have it it will redirect everything to index.php and all the parameters will be passed over after the slash which is on um, uh, this is uh, like I said a regular expression thing basically this means uh, give me all the parameters that you find okay so this will be redirected every request will go over to index.php and it will catch all the parameters there okay after you have set this up you are ready to set up to configure your code igniter to work without the index.php uh, file on the URL basically there is one more step I have to go over to application folder config folder and I go over to config.php I'm gonna go ahead and set up my base URL as well uh, H -h uh, HTTP okay and this is my uh, virtual local virtual host which I set up on yours should be something different if you working lively this should be something dot con or whatever okay uh, the main the, uh, the catch thing here is you see we have the index.php uh, uh, on the URL basically this is what we have to do uh, there is a description here you can read it through all you have to do for that to work is get rid of this index.php I'm just gonna simply delete this and save okay let's go over to Firefox and see if that's working out okay if I go to uh, you see we have the index here if we hit enter it's still gonna work no problem but it should work without the index.php now because we set up the server to work this uh, set up the coding editor to work, work this way okay let's hit enter okay works fine as you can see now you have coding writer up and running with a nice URL and I'm gonna finish this video here uh, you feel free to leave your comment on my blog or if you I'm gonna put it, uh, upload new videos and the next video will be uh, coding writer doesn't come with the layout system which many other frameworks has so basically on my next video if you want to follow through I'm gonna be showing you how to create a layout system so I'll see you then thank you